الحمد للہ والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس في كتابه الكريم ومن آياته الليلة والنهار والشمس والقمر لا تشهد لله ومن آيات الليل والنهار والشمس والقمر لا تشهد لله ولا قمر ولا لا تشهد إن ومن آيات الليل والنهار والشمس والقمر لا تشهد للشمس ولا للقمر واشهدوا لله الذي خلقهن إن كنتم إياه تعبدون أحبت في الله Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and from his signs is the sun and the moon وَمِنْ آيَاتِي اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارُ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ From his signs is the day and the night and the sun and the moon لا تشهد للشمس ولا للقمر واشهد لله Do not prostrate to the, to the, to the sun لا تشهد للشمس ولا للقمر واشهد لله الذي خلقهن إن كنتم إياه تعبدون uh, Prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Don't prostrate to the sun Nor the قمر nor, nor the 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 moon وَشِدُوا لِلَّهِ أَلَذِي خَلَقَهُنَّ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ يَاهُوا تَعْبُونَ Proceed to Allah, Allah the, the one who created all of this if it is him you truly worship I want to depart from the script so to speak and I can't even begin to tell you that camera can't even begin to capture this place what I'm seeing and what I smell and this is another reason for me, I love Washington State and I will be coming back here to my country, to my place, and where I was born. There's not another person out here in this area right now. People, if they're hiking the few because I left early after Fajr, they're going up to the lake. And I thought I'd take this new trail, this is a dead end. But the peace and the serenity of looking at this waterfall that Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala created. All of this, as is mentioned in the ayat, women ayati, and from his signs, that lets us know there's many, many signs, men, women ayati, from his signs, meaning he has many, many more signs, is the sun, is the night and the day. And if we reflect the habit of on the night and the day, as uh, a lot of the Mufassirin, they mention that the night, you know, that's a time, of course, for rest. We should be resting. We should be preparing ourselves for a new day, a new day to do our mu'amalat that we have to do in the world, to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, His ayat, to prepare ourselves for the ibadat, القلبية وبدنية
واللي ثانيه that the rest the night is a time for us to rest preparing ourselves physically and physically as i said bedania this refers to our bodies al amal bi jawarih our bodies and the tongue you know cuz we make adhkar we dhikr allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we supplicate to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh wa qalbiya and the dhikr qalbiya and the ibadat al qalbiya so all of those things you know they require our bodies to rest you know we take that time so that's a sign from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa min ayati al layla wa nahar so we have the night to rest to prepare and then we have the day for doing the mu'amalat and, and fulfilling the purpose wama khalaqtu al-jinna wal insa illa li'abudun i have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me so our divine purpose of why we were created by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to worship him and with that being the case ahabbat fi allah that's what we, we you know if we make our our qas our intention that we're resting going to bed early or what have you so that way we can wake up and praise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then we're getting the full benefit of fulfilling our divine purpose and the full uh, sweetness of faith and as we talked about uh, prior to this that also as the message of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned all throughout so many uh, and as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says kum kum layla qalila you know you know uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that in orders in fact the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to stand in in the in the night prayer even if it's a little bit even a, a third of the night you know stand in the night prayer even if even if you just get up for rakatain as the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said have a that's something immense and beautiful and a ni'mah min ni'amillah and it's a great form of worship and you'll be rewarded immensely and you'll find that it changes your life and i'm advising myself first because i know first and foremost i get caught up in the rat race especially if you do work that you're maybe not you don't enjoy and you're just in that rut and all you can think about is sleep and preparing for the next day because you're a slave to your work then this is this is kind of a musiba and this is another thing i'll be telling us we're going to go totally off script for the youth that i advise you to learn benefit in this dunya you know gain the skills make the sacrifice now while you're not married while you don't have obstacles to atlab al ilm nam and also atlab al ilm al dunya so get ilm al nafi which is knowledge of the shar of kitabi law wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam and knowledge of the worldly the worldly life in order to help you prepare because it gives you more freedom if you have money to be able to do things it can help you if someone's doing dawah it can help you look at this uh, i want to do the athari institute that requires money you know if you look at all the brothers that are doing good works out there they have to have somebody back in them and if if they want to do an institute if they want to do anything to take it to another level i love what the brothers are doing in philly uh my brothers who are in uh uh the the center they have the dawah center uh but that takes backing Muslim family center Muhammad Munir uh, Abu Sajid uh, uh, Ali Davis and Tahir and Hanif all those brothers and 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 anybody else who's with them they do in good I love it and I support them with my duas and if I had the wealth I'd lay it on it and that's what I mean the habaka tilah you know if you use the benefit of what Allah has given you for khair you'll be you only get reward for it and by having some satisfaction in this life as well meaning that you're not miserable hating the job you do hating the life you have hating it no you want to enjoy so you can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala better it helps and so going back to the ayah this beautiful creation women ayati al-layl wa nahar wa shams wa qamar and from its signs is the day and the night and the sun and the moon and as we see the sun right now it's beautiful it's early in the morning still and the sun is coming out it's not so hot i sweated it's it's tough out here 
It's nothing right now. Right now I can sit out in the sun and enjoy. وَمِنْ آيَاتِ يَلَيْلَ وَالنَّهَارُ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ And so, these are the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَا تَشْرُوا لِلشَّمْسِ Do not prostrate. Because we see, look at how, many of the, how much of the creation they worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They worship his, his signs, his ayat, his creation, instead of worshiping him. And, and subhanAllah, this is mansus, this is right in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, again, he begins with a nafi, he negates, he negates false ibadah. Which is worshiping these things. This is so beautiful. Alhamdulillah. The air, the the water, the waterfall coming down. These berries up here. The animals. There's so many animals here. Subhanallah. And the creation. Some of the indigenous nations. They worship the cougars. They worship the bears. Some of them. Uh, how many different cultures they worship the sun? Some they worship a god for the mountain. Subhanallah. How, how much the law of the people went because the signs are so beautiful and so magnificent but they missed the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they missed going to the creator instead instead they stopped with the creation these are the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reflect to contemplate to think to come closer to Allah Azza wa Jal, to know and realize that there's there's an author to all of this. Allah wa ta'ala created everything. Who's al khaliq al razik He's the provider and sustainer of all this. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negates false worship. And then he affirms, there's ifbat, there's nafi wa ifbat. Then there's an affirmation of worshiping him and him alone. So, وَمِنْ آيَاتِيَ لَيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ وَالشَّمْسِ وَالْقَمَرَ لَا تَشْرِدُوا الشَّمْسِ Don't. Worship this the sun. Don't or don't prostrate to the sun. Don't prostrate to the moon. And then Allah commands you with true worship, true monotheism, true ibadah. Wasjidu lillahi. Worship Allah. Allah the you know prostrate to Allah because prostration is a type of worship. Wasjidu lillahi. Allah the khalaqahunna. He created all this. The one created all of this. And kuntum iyahu ta'budu. If it is him you truly worship, because some even that they use this nature as a wasina. So there are those who believe in Allah, but they deviated in Tawheed uh, al ibadah because they share with the creation. They use this, they believe that this is uh, a means. As in, not a means to reflect on, but a means they actually worship. They believe they got to, they need to prostrate to the stone. They need to use the stone to come closer to Allah. Without the stone, they can't come close to Allah. That's a that's a khafa shirkiya. That is a a mistake, a sinful, wicked bid'ah based on shirk, on polytheism. So our relationship with is Allah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.